All right, landmine number four is going to be fees. And this one might actually surprise you. You want to make sure that whatever syndicator you're working with does charge some kind of fees. They need it and able to survive. So just so you know, at Home Invest, we have more than 20 employees who work on the multifamily deals. We have to pay for that. If your syndicator doesn't charge fees, they can't pay for those things, which means they're going to have to cut a lot of corners on the deal, which actually hurts your profitability and leads to a greater chance of capital calls. Now, you don't want exorbitant fees. So what do you want? What, what makes sense here? Usually, it is a 2% acquisition fee. So it's 2% of whatever the total property costs. On top of that, you want maybe a legal fee and possibly a marketing fee. Outside of that, there's really no call for other fees. Now, I've seen some syndicators charge eight or nine different fees. They have all of these little hidden clauses built in. If you look at Arrive.com, the fees for Arrive make it so that nobody's going to make any money on those deals till year four or five. They actually end up being horrible for investors, in my opinion, but that's for you to decide. I don't like paying fees. Landmine number four is fees because of this. You want to make sure that there are fees there because you want the company to make money that you're working for. You want them to be able to provide the overhead to pay for this stuff. So what kind of things do we have to pay for? There's the legal fees. It could be forty to $60,000 to set up the syndication. That money's got to come from somewhere. Then on top of that, you've got the team fees. You've got to pay people's salaries. You've got to pay to get the underwriting done. And you definitely don't want to skimp there. You also have earnest money. The money that we put down for a property could be a couple hundred grand very easily. You want to make sure that that's taken care of. All of this comes from the profit that we make and the fees that come in. And if we don't have that at the front, then we can't offset it and we can't actually offer a good deal. The things that you want to watch out for are exorbitant fees. Anything that is over and above. If they have more than three or four fees built in, I'd be very skeptical. You should ask them directly about this. What are your fees and what do they cover? You don't want something that is going to end up costing you a lot in the long run.